Um, so, the first thing I want to say, and it is long overdue to say this, and I'm sure I've said it in other mediums many, many times, but congratulations on winning Season 3 of the TBL. Um, season 3, as many people know, was concluded approximately six months ago. Um, yeah. And Thank then you. after that, we had a summer league, and then after that, we had a hiatus, and then we came back, and now we're ready for Season 4. Um, and so, naturally, I told playmaker at the time that I was going to be doing an interview with the champion and I never did and so here we are uh, doing an interview with the champion so congratulations to the champion of season three um, thank you sir thank you so first question um, as we get into just a little bit of a uh, light-hearted and fun interview um, do what do you remember from season three what was your favorite part of the season that you actually remember because again it was quite some time ago Oh, no, that's a, that's a trip back down memory lane. Uh, favorite favorite part about me, um, I mean, it's honestly the, <laughs> the championship battle, dude. <laughs> uh, like, uh, I could have had the 6-0 against T-Chan, which is, I regret not going for, just because it would have been freaking fun and hilarious, and T-Chan would never have been able to say that he's never been 6 0 before. Because uh, he, he told me that after... I beat him 5-0. Uh. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that was uh, that was probably the the most fun uh, battle I had during uh, that season, uh, or most sorry, most memorable thing I remember during that season. Cool. Um, I think uh, if there was a follow up, uh, maybe it would be. Um, I do remember having my heart stop a couple of times when I was playing against Hef because, uh, in, the, in the semifinals, because he game planned so well against me. Uh, and I was just like, I didn't even account for webs. Oh my God. And my Gligar does not have defog. So <laughs> we're going to have to work this out somehow. Uh, Hef's a good battler. Uh, he is. He, he is. has... He has made semifinals in, I believe, every league, every TBL league he's been a part of. Um, and he's consistently up there. You took him down in uh, this past season. The season before that was T Shen taking him down. So, funny enough that you two ended up as the finalists. Now, do you believe that you and T Shen will be finalists once again in season four? <sighs> that's, that's, that's tough to say. That's tough to say. I don't want to be like, no, it's never going to happen. And, no. Um, I don't know, like, so based on him DMing me and stuff, he doesn't entirely like his team. Sure. Like, one of the things you have to, your um, when you're in when you're in leagues like this, you have to you have to be in love with your team. <laughs> and you're gonna if you're be not, with them for a long, long time. Team, so. it's 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 uh it's it's like a relationship, you know. If you're not in it then it's it's not gonna work out so i mean i but if you if you want to ask me if i feel confident that i'll be in the finals again sure i feel i feel pretty confident about that all right um, all right your division for season four i mean we'll get into season four a little bit because season three was yeah. so long ago and at this point you might as well yeah, just sure. jump into season four um so your division is you david uh who is also a perennial semi-finalist uh, and Hydra, who is one of the newcomers into the TBL Season 4. So you looking at that and saying you think you can win that division? Uh, I feel confident in my own abilities. Okay. Uh, that being said, I don't know anything about Hydra. <laughs> he is the Prep God. Uh, he's, he earned the nickname Prep God during the preseason, this is, so... This is what I've heard. Uh, he even, uh, I, for, for, for a mock battle I had with, uh, with Hef, uh, when I was just, um, I just made a random team for him to mock against, and uh, and then like Hef beat me like uh, four oh because I missed an overheat with my road time heat, of course. But uh, he beat me, and uh, I was like, "Dang, dude, you brought you brought the heat!" And then he's like, "Oh yeah, Hydra told me to to put this so like I like outspeed an adamant uh, full speed uh, Azumarill," and I was like. Right. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's cool. Are you? That's you're cool. facing Hydra Week One, right? Week One. So it's 
it's going to be interesting. Yeah. And um, a lot of people have me picked uh, to beat Hydra. I think the only person that says that I'm going to lose to Hydra is Koenigs. And uh, that's that's fine. I, I, I know Koenigs is going to root for his little buddy buddy. And <laughs> All right. Not? So, so um, jumping into that, speaking of Koenigs and Hydra, um, we've also got Splurge. We've also got... Um, a couple other people, like Alex, is making his return through the preseason. Um, of the players who were in the preseason, who is the person you think is going to be the scariest this season? Scariest? Um, honestly, like I, I probably would say Hydra. Like okay. he's, like he's, uh, he's been given the nickname of Prep God, and. Uh, um. Yeah, he seems like he's going to be a really good player this season. I'm excited. And of course, you do get two players through your division going on to the playoffs no matter what. Um, so one of you, David and Hydra, will not make playoffs. Just straight up, that's going to be the case. Um, which is going to be really interesting, because I think that's just one threat that's just not going to exist in the playoffs. And I'm not going to complain about it. Um, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's a good uh, insight you have there. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna be like, oh, sorry, David, you're not out of here. No, I think I think it's gonna it's gonna be a, a fight to the finish. Um, I don't predict anyone having um, an undefeated season this season, including myself. Um, if I do, that that'd be freaking amazing. But uh, I just I just think the competition level of uh, the season is is above anything i've seen in any draft league format like i've i've watched gba i've watched <laughs> that's the thing i always say that about the tbl is that the, the competitive the co competition level is so high in the tbl and people don't believe me because it's people who don't upload right? Um, right yeah and so like oh well there's all these really famous youtubers who upload um but at the same time there's people like you who's not uploading um, and then half who's not uploading, uh, and there's just this high and Hydra. I don't believe uploads, um, and so there's just all this level of competition that we attract because we are a very high level of competition league, um, and yet I don't require the uploading side of things. And so I just personally think that it gets me people who people don't know about, and so they look at you and they're like, oh, he doesn't upload. He's not very good. And I'm just like, I don't think you understand. Like he's the best yeah. battler that I've ever seen. Um, so. I have to ask you this. I asked Hef this at, right before week one of uh, season t three. Um, I actually pulled up my interview with Hef, so I'll, I'll throw it on the screen, the question that I asked him. It was actually right after week one. The question was, okay, week one is concluded, and he won that week. You got that week, uh, that okay. win under your belt. So let's hear it. Your way too early prediction of the playoffs, who wins the championship? All right, so if I, if I was to predict the playoffs, um... And he gave me a full semifinals breakdown. Like, he went in. Okay, well, so we have quarterfinals this season, right? Yep. Well, so, um, okay, so going down from division to division. So in blue division, I know my man, Manbird, is going to be in there. All right. Uh, as as one of the uh, quarterfinalists. And then between Coenx and Nick, um, man, you I got think Coenx is... Beating out yeah. one of Koenigs and Nick, huh? Yeah. No, I, 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 I genuinely believe that because I'm, I'm actually also a part of Manbird's uh, front office, in ah. a sense. Uh, see, I took you all out of my TBL front office. We're going to see how this goes. Fine. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. Like, you were just like, oh, Joe's everything to me. Like, Joe is, Joe's, uh, Joe's, like... No, it's more yeah, that I really want Joe to get involved in the league, and yeah, so I'm I, trying I, to like, I'm, messing with you, dude. I'm trying to I'm promote Joe you. for the league because as soon as he graduates college, I want him in it, you know. So yeah, that'd be that'd be tight. Uh, no, I was just I was messing with you, dude. Um, <laughs> this is just me being silly. Um, nah, you're good. You're good. And then, um, as much as I like Nick's team, uh, I just think Kong's ability as a battler just uh, just supersedes uh, even how. Uh, Cohen's team is um, a thing that I would personally draft myself, but if he can make it work, then uh, then that's that's good for him. And I think so. I think it will be Cohen's and Manbird in Blue Division. Okay. Uh, in Red Division, 
I will say Hef and Brendan. Sure, uh, I'm sure. You're going to knock Tishan out of the playoffs. He doesn't even make playoffs this time. How would, well, okay, so how would I even... Uh, <laughs> Hold on, like I'm just pulling it up myself. I don't, other two guys. I don't have it up right now. I'm going to pull it up, but I'm trying That's to... Fine. I have the divisions in my head, I think, but like... Yeah, you got, you got I, I, two of... I can't, ju I can't justify taking out any of the other two guys either. Uh, and so I have to just go by... Um, is... Gonna be there just based like teams alone. I mean, you can have so, however you want to do this. This is your question, your choice. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm giving you my justification for it. Okay. Uh, and then I think you and Splurge in okay. Green Division, and then in Yellow Division, and then <sighs> this is tough. Um, I'm gonna go with Hydra just because okay. uh, he's just like really good, and he's he's even doing things that I couldn't do. So so you're you're uh, knocking out you're knocking out David and Tishan, who have both participated in I think every semifinals that the TBL has ever offered. Yeah, uh, I know. And it's, you're just it's saying they're crazy. not even gonna make playoffs this season. They're not even going to be there. It's crazy. Um, all right, so I'm this not, season of the TBL, yeah. there's a little bit of a difference structure with the way that the season works and the playoffs work. So you're actually not going to play the pers another person in your division again until the finals, should you both make it there. So I'm going to sure. need you to give me like who's in first and who's in second in order to make the bracket. Uh, and then from there, right. we can we can go, we can narrow it down match by match. Alright, so Manbird 1, Coings 2. Manbird 1, Coings 2. Alright. And in, 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 uh, in the division. In their division. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. So one and two, Manber Coins, and then uh, one and two. Okay, so half one, Brennan two. Okay. I think I think. Uh, man, this is tough. I'll I'll go with uh, I'll go with you one, Scorch two. Sure. Um. Uh, I mean, it would be kind of weird if I put Hydra ahead of me, so I'm go. All right. Uh, myself one, and then Hydra two. All right. So you put yourself one, and Hydra two. So what that's going to mean for the playoffs is you have yourself, the one seed matching up as the two seed in the blue division, which is Coings. First round, go. Yes, this is what I wanted, dude. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, I love you, Coings, but I uh, I have a lot of answers to your team. Oh, I'm going to just kick you to the curb. Sorry, bud. Uh, right. And I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not letting you beat me twice. Let's just put it that way. All um, right. All right. So in the on your so, side of the bracket, which is technically the other side of the bracket from what it's looking at, uh, if you're looking at the document right now, um, you have the two seed from red. No, you have the one seed from red and the two seed from green. So you have... Uh, do you have Hef winning that division, you said? Yeah, Hef versus Splurge in this yeah, case. Yeah, Hef versus Splurge. Um, I would go with Hef. I think his teams are really well built, so I'm going to go with that. Okay. Uh, and then on the other side of the bracket, you're looking at me and Brendan for the first round. Oh my gosh, dude. That's such a good... That would be such a good game. <laughs> um... Um, honestly, like, he doesn't have really, like, he really only has, like, one answer for Celestila, so... You cut out a little bit there. He really only has one for Celestila? He only has one answer for Celestila. Oh. Uh, so I'm gonna give that one to you, just because of that. Okay. Uh, and then, to round that out, uh, the final match there is going to be Manbird versus, uh, Hydra. Manbird versus Hydro. Ooh, man. Uh, <laughs> There's no gimmies in the first round of the playoffs here. Dude, okay, so let's see, we got. Uh, match both books. Um, this Manbird have answers, and I'm gonna say. Manbird can do it. You think I, Manbird I, can do I, it? I, 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 I believe in Manbird, yeah. 
All right, all right. We'll, we'll go Manbird. Manbird. So then, in the semifinals, it's yourself and Hef. Self and Hef. Oh my gosh, semifinal rematch. <laughs> that's that's crazy. Okay. Um... Very interesting. Um, I know Hef and I do play each other in season as well. Yes, you do. The um, first person you play in the playoffs, you will not play during the regular season, just based on the way the schedule works. But well, I don't play. I don't play Coings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first person that you play during the playoffs, the quarterfinal matchup, will be against a player you don't play during the regular season. That's just guaranteed. Because huh. there's one division you don't play, and that's the first player you play in the playoffs from that division. Uh, that's guaranteed. Oh, uh, I get it now. Okay. I like that. I like that. Um, yeah. I figured it'd be a cool way to do it. Gives you an extra player. You end up playing, if you make playoffs, you play 10 of the 12 teams, or 9 of the 11 teams that aren't you. Um, which is, you know, a pretty cool way of doing it, because then you end up getting a chance to play almost everybody in the entire league uh, without it being one big division, which I don't really love. Uh, that's, this is, this is tough. He has, uh, Hef's got a really good team. Uh, <laughs> you know, Hef picked you to win the season three champion, and he was right. You could pick Hef here. I, I, I could. I could. <laughs> uh, um, oh, actually, I have, like, I think, I, th I think I could game plan well enough. To, to go around half. So I'm going to give that one to me. Okay. And then you have me and Manbird on the other Sorry, side. Sorry, right? I, I love you, dude, but I got to, I got to, like, with myself here. I can't, I can't let say that I'm going to not defend my title here. So, okay, right. who is it? Manbird and who else? And myself. Goodness. Go, cool. what are you doing to me? <laughs> He's the playoffs, dude. They're not easy. It's never easy. Okay. All right. I've never uh, even won my own league before, so, so like, whatever. <laughs> so... Gosh, dude, I, I, I think... Uh, well... I, um... Let's see, so... Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm like thinking this through. I'm just trying to think. Uh, I, I think this is the most evenly matched matchup that I'm like trying to like. Um, so. I mean, it's, it, this is not an easy one for me, dude. I, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that straight up. Um, well, because you're going to be working against think, me if you're not in my front office at that point. Yeah, that's true. I might, I might not even just help Manbird out in that round just because if, if this ever happened, because like, like I don't want to be the guy that'd be like, yeah, I knocked gold out of the semi. I'm that <laughs> guy. Like, <laughs> or I helped him out, at least. Uh, this is, uh, you. What? I'll give this one to you. I'm going to give this one to you. Okay. So that puts us I in the finals. You and me in the finals? That's what you just made happen. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Um, <laughs> I uh, I love you, Gold, but I'm going to... Uh, I'll be taking this one home. All right. I, I, well, I we, play, we play week nine, so we can determine... Like, we get a chance to see each other real late in the season. Uh, yeah, and and uh, you are one and zero against me when it comes to um, uh, rematches. Rematches, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. I'm the best prepper for when when I already know what they're gonna bring against me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is uh, this is fact. Um, uh, all right, so, so to, like, we're gonna yeah. wrap up. We're gonna wrap up this real quick with a couple of like rapid fire questions. All right. Yes, let's do it. All right, first question: um, Which Pokemon is gonna get the most kills this season? Most kills. Um, I'm gonna go with. Damn, that's a hard question. Uh, I'm gonna go with Mimikyu. All right. Which uh, 
if you had to pick one Pokemon as a real life companion, which one would you pick? Doesn't have to be like a, a mod on your as team or anything, life, just in general. Life companion. Um, I, I gotta go with Jirachi here, man. Okay, getting some wishes out here. Yes. Uh, what so, is your? Yeah, I wish that girl liked me, and then bam, Jirachi. Thanks, dude. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon? Um, uh, goodness, dude, that's a. That's a loaded question. Uh, I, I feel, I feel like it changes so much. Um, right now, today, when this, at the time of interview, what is your favorite Pokemon? I literally just asked me that, and I really just want to say, uh, I really just want to say Jirachi. All right, all right, yeah, you're just taking the favorite for the one you're doing the thing. All right, last question, and obviously the most important question, same thing I ended Hef's interview with, this is the be the biggest question of the day, so if you do anything else today, remember that you've already had your most important moment. Okay. Huskies or German Shepherds? Uh... You know, uh, it's it's funny. My my brother really wants a husky, mm -hmm. but I uh, I've always German Shepherd guy. I had a German Shepherd when I was actually younger. So dude, I love both um, dogs. This would be the hardest question I ever had to answer. It is. Uh, so. Anyway, we are now with Hef's answer of husky and your answer of German Shepherd's one one in this question all time. So I will keep all you guys right. updated on how this question shapes up uh, every interview I ever do. I'm gonna end with this question. So uh, hey, there you go, man. There, everyone this knows a, now my strats. This is the real TBL finals right here. <laughs> That's the real finalists. The real finalists are Huskies and German Shepherds. <laughs> um, anyway, thank you so much for the interview. I apologize for how long it took, but once again, congratulations I, on I, season three. This, and, this is fun. Uh, good this luck fun. defending your title once again. I know that you were in the finals of the Summer League, but I don't really count that since you didn't really draft your own team or anything like that. Um, yeah. But, I still should have won that. But, <laughs> yeah, so. but you didn't, That's and Coeggs had his undefeated Summer League. So you put Coeggs having an undefeated Summer League and then getting bopped in round one of the playoffs here, which is and second in his division, which is pretty wild to me. Uh, so anyway, yeah. thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you guys are excited for TBL Season 4, which is right around the corner. Um, draft stream will be coming out in the next few days on my own Twitch channel, so if you're not following me there... Uh, go, link is in the description below, to that twitch.tv slash uh, Make sure that you join the Discord, which the link is in the description as well, um, and hang out with all of us coaches who are having a good time on this non-upload required Twitch-centric league, despite this being uploaded to YouTube. So, any last words, Playmaker? Oh man, well, for all you guys in TBL Season 4 who are watching this, just get prepared to get kicked in the Pokeballs. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I'm calling you guys out, boys. All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs> All right, peace is everyone. Yo, that's hilarious. <laughs>